Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in the subject, computer graphics is animation. I think most of you know about these animations because nowadays everything is whatever you are able to see uh, that you are interested in seeing the animated pictures, right? Okay, let me explain you what exactly the animation is and what are the different types of animations and how the animation is going to be designed, okay? So, actually animation is nothing but it is defined, it is defined as the act of as the act of making something making something come alive so you are giving some life to something that is an animation okay suppose this pen is there i want to move this pen it, at present it is not having any life okay it's just it is in a static position i want to move this pen okay so this is, a, I'm making something come alive. That is an animation. I want to, uh, I suppose if you want to throw this pen, okay, the pen is moving from here like this. It, it is rotating and placing somewhere, okay. That is, you're making something come alive. That is the animation. Animation is defined as the act of make, making something come alive. Animation is an object moving across or into or out of the screen. Okay. It's maybe uh, across. It's a moving across or into or out of the screen. In animations, what exactly is doing? In animation, a series of images. A series of images rapidly change rapidly changed to create an illusion of movement an illusion of movement that is an animation so how uh, you you will get it out how the pictures are running okay how the pictures are moving uh, suppose if any picture is there that picture wants to walk on the road so how this going to be done because that is a picture it actually it doesn't have any life but the picture is moving okay means it is you are making something alive how it is possible actually the animation is a series of images means the person who is stand here he wants to walk okay he wants to walk so this is an image this is an object this object moving across Okay, across on the screen. How it is possible? I'm just making a series of images. I'm just uh, creating a series of images. Okay. The same picture. Just like a walking, I'm creating a series of ima images. And I'm rapidly changing. I'm just rapidly changing. But it, it to create an illusion of moment. So... Just I created, the only thing here is I created a series of images. So, I am just adding this series of images to the current picture. So, that the picture is uh, created an illusion that it is that uh, person is moving. It is just an illusion of movement. That is an animation. So, to create an animation, you have to make a series of images and you have to make rapidly changes of that image. So, that it creates an illusion, illusion of movement. So, I hope you understand what exactly the animation is. I, animation is defined as the act of making something come alive. Okay. So, how this animation will be uh, occurred? You are simply, you are just making a series of images rapidly change it to create an illusion of movement. And where these, uh, where we use this animation? So, the usage of animations in. So, where we use these animations? So, I know you know that in the artistic purpose, artistic purpose or in the field of storytelling. For storytelling, the animated pictures are nowadays very famous and displaying data in the scientific visualization, displaying data and in the instructional purposes. So, in these areas, you are using these, most of them uh, use the animation. Okay, so now let me explain you the different types of animations. There are different types of animations in different different fields. Different types of animations will be used. Now let's see what is this. Cell animation. 
A traditional form of animation used in the production of cartoons or animated movies where each frame of the scene is drawn by hand. Cell animation means draw by hand. Means you are drawing the pictures by hand. Means in the paper you are drawing the pictures. So the, this you call it as a traditional form of animation. The cell animation is a traditional form of animation because it is used in the production of cartoons or animated movies so there you are creating a frames of scene in draw by hand means so many pictures you are drawing and you are making them combine and you are making a picture and a cartoon and animated movie you are going to be created by simply drawing by hand a full length of feature film produced using a cell animation would often requires a million or more drawings to complete if you want to make any uh, full length future film okay if you want to make any full length future film by using cell animation remember that you are using cell animation whenever you are using cell, cell animation means it's nothing but you are drawing by hand so for that you requires a million or more drawings to complete the picture that much of pictures you need to be drawn in each page you are going to draw a millions of drawings so that a future film will be completed it's a full length film will be completed means it's a, approximately so the one type of animation is a cell animation the cell animation is it's a traditional form of animation which here each frame can be drawn by hand and another type of animation that is a computer animation so in this computer animation there is no need of drawing the picture by hand here we use the computer graphics it's a subset of both computer graphics and animation technology okay the computer animation it's a combination of computer graphics and as well as the animation technology it is a creation of moving images that is the animations using computer technology so that animations whatever we are creating that is moving images that uh, will be uh, the animation will be created by using computer technology and another type of this uh, animation is the kinematics so whenever you heard this name it's nothing it's related to the physics a kinematics it is a study of movement and motion of the structures so it's a study of movement and motion just movement and doing some action of structures that have joined such as walking a man suppose if the person wants to walk how he can walk by stride he can't walk he has to fold his leg while he is walking okay just like he has to fold his leg and he has to walk okay so further there is a movement should be there and the motion should be there so that it will be work and here the structure that have a joints okay the leg has a joints and he, he has to bend like this to work so such type of animations are usually used in the areas like mechanics and coming to the another type of animation so that is a morphing so i think most of you are familiar with morphing because changing the picture okay it is a popular effect in which one image transforms into another so you just simply changing uh, did you see in the facebooks nowadays so many links will be coming just a morphing means whenever you put your photo in that uh, image uh, it will be changing means the morphing means in the future how you will be look like in the past how you will be look like in the future generation how you are going to be uh, means in the next in the old uh, olden days how your face will be look like so that is a morphing it is a popular effect in which one image transforms into another the morphed images were built at a rate of 8 frames per second this remember that if you want to morph any image, it requires approximately the rate of 8 frames per second. For every second, 8 frames has to be changed. So, with each transition, taking a total of 4 seconds. Suppose if a person wants to change his face to the future, uh, means how he looks in the future, it requires total in the 4 seconds, it is going to be changed. Means each second, there is 8 frames. So, total 32 frames are required in a 4 seconds to change his face. That is a morphed image. So, these are all the different types of animations. Uh, the animations, these are the different animation file formats. The director, DIR, Animation Pro, 3D Studio Max, 
super card and directory is the uh, this is the file format and compute serve is this dot gif and the flash is dot fla so these are all the different file formats of the animation and what type of softwares we will use for animation 3d studio max and the flash animation pro so these are the famous softwares that we used for the animation thank you